If you've been looking for the perfect intermediate rowing workout that you can do on any machine that takes you from warm up to workout to cool down all in one, that you can continuously come back to and rely on to make sure that you get in shape, enjoy your machine, and feel like you have some kind of a guide to go with, then this is the workout for you. Let's just get right into it. The first things when we're going to get to this warm up, again, on whatever machine you're on, I'm gonna have you start in this seated position. Number one, let's just go ahead and take our feet and put them up here, and I want you to pull your toes towards you and we're just gonna fall into a brief forward fold here and now think about folding at the hip not rounding the spine to get here what we're doing is kind of priming this action that has to happen during the rowing stroke so I want you to just lean that chest forward and bring your hands as far forward as you can if you want to just let them dangle you can do that grab your legs that works too or grab your toes we're just gonna take some big deep breaths here try and fill the lungs And every time you exhale, try to let that fold increase a little bit more. And again, let those hands rest wherever they need to. Just a reminder, come back to this workout. Do this three, four, five times a week until you're comfortable with these intermediate workouts. When you know that you can last and thrive through this workout that we're gonna do today, then you can start to move or consider getting into the advanced workouts if you wanna up that intensity or up the duration of your workouts. But for today, let's just get you nice and warm. Okay, very nice. Now bring those feet down. From here, I would like you to take your feet wide, take your elbows inside of your knees. You're going to drive your knees out using your elbows, okay? And I want you to kind of keep your feet in here. Drive those feet, elbow, those knees wide. I can't remember my anatomy right now. Drive those knees wide using your elbows and then try to bring your chest forward. What we're doing is creating space through the hips, right? Because we need to be able to move the hips for the rowing stroke, so that's what I'm trying to accomplish here. And do that by bringing the chest forward, again, not by rounding the spine. Okay, now we're gonna take that right leg, bring it up on the left knee, and I'm going to have you do a rotation while grabbing your knee. So you're gonna kinda hug your knee with your left arm, and that's gonna stretch into your right butt cheek, your right glute. You're gonna grab the rail behind you and then twist. So you're gonna twist into that knee. Hang out for just a moment, take a couple deep breaths here. All right, let's switch sides. So left knee now up on the right, or so left ankle on the right knee. Give that knee a hug. Oh, I can feel that. Getting a nice stretch down through here. I'm grabbing the rail behind me. And I'm twisting, hugging and twisting. And the more you hug, the more it's gonna increase that stretch. Okay, let that knee down. Now go ahead and give me some neck rolls. Just give me five each direction. Oh, it feels so nice. I can hear all the Rice Krispies snap, crackling, and popping in my neck as I do that. Okay, now I want you to take your shoulders, shrug them up really high to your ears. This is not a position we ever want to be in while we're in the workout. So what I want you to do is tense them really tight and then relax. One more time, shrug really, really tall. We're gonna avoid this position while we're in the workout. Ah, and drop the shoulders down. And now just let them kind of sink into place. This is where you want your shoulders to lift while we're working out. Now go ahead and strap into your machine. We're gonna start at the back end of the stroke. We're gonna do a little bit of rowing here for warm up. So now grab that handle. I want your body sitting tall, but opened up at if we were on a clock face, I guess. To you, that would be one o'clock. My trunk is at one o'clock open. And we're just gonna start with arms only. So just join me and match my hands right now. Notice I'm not cranking with my arms. All I'm doing is finding a straight in, straight out rhythm of the hands, okay? No up or down movement, I'm not smashing my chest, I'm not stopping at the front or the back, it's just straight in, straight out. I'm just trying to find smoothness here. Smoothness is the key to good rowing. Once you can learn to finesse the machine, things are gonna move so fast in your favor. Okay, now let's add in the hip swing here in two strokes, that's one and two, keeping the legs straight. Now it's arms away, close the hips, swing the hips open, snap the arms. Arms, hips, hips, 
arms, arms, hips, hips, arms. There we go. Just smooth. We're not going too fast. Just taking our time here. Feel those hips swinging open. When you go to swing open, try not to bend with the elbow, right? Use the swing of the trunk to give you tension on the handle. That's gonna take some practice. And that's why I say do this workout three, four, five times a week. Right? Be very comfortable with this. And the more you do it, the more you'll start to learn, oh, that's how I get tension on the handle without pulling with the arms. A lot of people struggle with that. The break of the arm, that's a very normal thing. So if that's you, you are not alone, I promise. I dealt with that for a long time when I started rowing. Okay, now we're gonna add in the legs to a full stroke in two. That's one. Two. Here we go, adding in the legs. So now the beauty of what we just did, those are called pick drills, is it primed good mechanics. And now you just get to think about it and try and insert it into the full stroke. Cool? Make sure you're breathing. Just follow along with me. Right now it's all about just getting the sequence right. And in two strokes, we're gonna add some intensity for 15 strokes, where you just try and push, push, push with the legs. Harder, in two strokes. That's one. That's two, here we go. This is where we're just gonna get the heart rate up before the workout. One, two, make it loud. Three, do it by pushing on the machine, not by taking your stroke rate up. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There you go. Now ease off. Take five normal strokes. That's one, just light and easy. Okay? That's two. Three, two more, four, last stroke, and five. Go ahead and put your handles down. So what you should be feeling right now, good blood flow through the body. If you're with me, <laughs> we're breathing heavy, heart rate's going, you feel juicy right now. You got that blood flow, you feel warm, you're breathing heavy, your heart rate's up, you're not fatigued yet. This is the warm up space where you wanna be. So now we just take this right into the workout. So let's cue that up. Now being warmed up is really important to getting into this workout. Let's just take that warmth and let's just apply it right away. The only thing that we're gonna do is set the monitor so that it's ready to go and you'll find out what the workout is as we go along. So from the main menu, we're going to select workout. That's the B button, new workout, D button, single time, B button. Then we're going to 20 minutes. So I need a minus button. That's the C button once that gives me 20. And then the E button, hits the check mark and I got 20 minutes on my screen. Let's strap in and you get to find out what the workout is as we go. Strap in, grab that handle, let's sit ready at the catch. We're gonna do this together in three, two, one. Let's get it on! All right, we're starting out at a 22. So we're just setting up at a stroke rate 22 here. This workout's gonna be pretty happy for a lot of you that follow along here. So here's what we wanna be thinking about as we're settling in right now. Number one, you got warm before this, but you still got a little bit left to just kinda of get into the, the meat of the workout. So we use this first interval usually as a way to just kinda of get your body in tune with what you're gonna be doing. So it's almost like this is our chance for a baseline. Set that baseline on your body right now Connect. What's your body doing? Listen, feel, just learn. As we're sitting at this 22 stroke rate, you wanna be matching. Now, if this is your first time here to an intermediate workout, welcome. Super happy to have you. I'm Shane Farmer. This is Dark Horse, where you build the life that you wanna live. And we just use rowing to get you there. So, welcome if this is your first time. If it's not, welcome to one of our intermediate workouts. Maybe this is your jump. You just came from the beginner workouts and now you're hitting the intermediates. Maybe this is your very first workout with us and you're trying this for the first time. Either way, 
I want to remind you that as we're settling in, stroke rate 22, the way you match up with me, because that's kind of a critical part of these workouts, is match my catch timing. The catch is the front part of the stroke. It's that moment where I turn the handle around and change directions. It's right now. <laughs> right now. That part of the stroke. So to get the stroke rate on time with me, you just catch at the same time. And then from there, the work becomes, okay, how do I make my body move the same way as Shane? That's the goal. All right, get the mechanics ironed out. And I'll just set stroke rate for you because that then eliminates the need for you to have to think about stroke rate. And instead, you get to be focusing on your mechanics and putting more effort into your workouts, which means better calorie burn and all the, all, all the good stuff, you know? So, match catch timing with me. I'm setting a 22 for you. I'm trying to be nice and steady. I want you to feel comfortable. So today, in this workout, I'm gonna be taking you on a bit of a journey. It's a juicy little roller coaster ride, okay? I don't wanna to reveal too much ahead of time because I don't want you to get too excited about it because it's such a good one. I don't want you to worry about it. You just know that I'll tell you when it's time to make our moves, okay? So just a reminder, if this is your first time doing this workout, this is a repeatable and suggested repeatable workout. If you're just getting into your intermediate range of work, maybe you're trying to get comfortable with 20 minute workouts, maybe you're trying to improve your control of stroke rate, you can be doing this three plus times a week and this is a great training program. So do this exact video over and over and over until you just know it like the back of your hand and you know you're moving well with me. All right, we're gonna make our first jump into the workout here. We're gonna jump up to 24. Okay, two beats up on this one. Let's go. Shifting in rate. Things are just gonna make a slight bump up. And now we get to accept our new normal. All right. So hanging out at a 24 for a little bit here. about those hands moving straight in, straight out. Smooth strokes. Nothing should feel jerky in the rowing stroke. If anything feels jerky, step back. Refocus on mechanics. So again, this being a repeatable workout, what you wanna be accomplishing is that you can confidently say that if you were to take me out of the equation, you could hold these stroke rates all on your own with no guidance. When you can do that, it's probably time for you to move up to the advanced range. And then you can join us, or join me, in one of my advanced workouts. Because when you can do that, then there's, there's really not much left to think about of the fundamentals, the, the foundation of the pyramid. At that point, you're working on the nuances. And it's like the exciting stuff, you know? How do I improve performance by getting fitter? Right, this early stage is just about being better at moving and you'll get really fit, you'll get really fast quickly. And then as you grow, that's when you start to, start to see the smaller jumps, but you take more pride in those smaller jumps because it's no longer like, oh, that was a huge light bulb moment. Now it's like, oh, I just really worked to get better at that thing and I see the benefit of it. All right, 24, still here. Settling in, feel your breathing. Let your breathing help you set the rhythm. Rhythm is kind of the biggest focus of our intermediate workouts. So when you work out with me, and especially doing this regularly, 
Learn to let your breathing rhythm follow the movement of your body, which matches the stroke rate. And pretty soon you learn that you have one breathing rhythm for every stroke rate. So that if I say we're going up to 32, you go, okay, I know what my breath has to do. My body's not gonna panic and I can just change course. Speaking of going up in the stroke rate, not a 32, we're taking another bump up here. Let's go up. All right, we're climbing that hill now on that roller coaster. Go up to 26. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Tick, 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 tick. That roller coaster's climbing up that hill. What's at the top? What's on the other side of it? We don't know. That's the fun. Is it gonna be loops? Is it gonna be an upside downy? I don't know. Is it just gonna be one massive drop off where you scream your head off? I, I'm not sure. Actually, I am, but <laughs> that's because I'm the roller coaster designer. Here we go, settling in 26, doing this together. I'm here for you. We're doing this together. And that's the big piece of training with me. Training alone, it's not fun. Training together, so much better. I love having training partners and I know that you're there on the other side of this. It makes all the world of difference. Knowing that you're there to do it with me. Because I'm not here doing it for myself. I'm here to push for you. I've always been a team athlete. You guys are my team. That's the fun part. We're getting close to the peak of that roller coaster. go. We're going to make one more bump up and rate and then some fun stuff starts to happen. On this stroke, let's go up 28. Let's go, do it together. We're going to be here for two minutes now. Doing it together. You're following me, I'm following you. We're staying here. Starting to feel that sweat. Starting to feel that breathing. Lock them in. Learn to thrive in this place what rowing is. It's thriving right here. When anything else would cause you to quit, this is when you stick it out. Passing over halfway. Because I like you. Let's take that rate up one more time. Here we go, 30. Let's do it. Gosh, I'm setting it for you here. Join me in it. Really trying to hang on for you. We're gonna take it down to 26 here in a second. Twenty-six. Just a slight edge off. Whoop! Too far. There we go. Bring it back up for you. Okay. Here's where we're gonna play around. In ten seconds, we're gonna take a power twenty. This is a move. Imagine somebody starting to sneak up on you. You're gonna take a power twenty. 
fend them off. Don't let them pass you. In two strokes. That's one and two. Let's go. Ten hard. Sorry, twenty hard. Same rate. Just push harder. Four. Five. Don't let them pass. Six. Push them away. Seven. Eight. You're walking on them. Nine. Ten. Ten more strokes in this power. Twenty. One. Two. Fend them off. Three. Come on. Four. You're grittier than they are. Five. Six. You got this. Seven. Eight. They're backing down. Nine. Ten. There we go. Now you're doing it. Stand this 26 together. You successfully fend them off. That was a big move. So don't let the power down now. Because they're not gone. You can still see them. They're right up there. Close enough that they can still make a move in this final seven minutes. We're taking it down to 24 on this one. Here we go. Here's zero wing in. This is where you gotta get tough. They kept their rate at 26. You stayed at 24. Because you're gonna beat them with power. Not like going up in rank. All of you are supposed to be at 24. They're not listening to the rules. The rules of engagement have been broken. You're gonna hold to them. Let them try to flail away to 26. <laughs> stroke by stroke, move them away. Watch them, just laugh. Knowing that you're not gonna let them catch you. They're trying with everything they got. They're throwing the kitchen sink at this race. You're not gonna bite for it. You're gonna row your piece. You are focused. You are connected. You are powerful. Let's do this together. We're in the boat together. I'm right in front of you. You're in the seat behind me. The more we match, the faster we move. Rowing is about fluid, beautiful movement. We're doing it together. Match my rate because you're in the boat with me. Not just because I tell you to. That's not worth anything. We're doing it together. We're walking away. And we see you peek over your right shoulder. There's another boat in front of us. It's striking distance. There's still open water between us. But if we move, and move together, we can catch them by the end of this piece. We can do it for us, not for anyone else. There are no spectators. There's no crowd. This is a piece for pride, a race for pride. Stroke rate down to 22 on this one. That boat in front of us, they dropped down to a 21. They're trying to show off. They think they can hold us off with a lower stroke rate. What do we do? We hold at a 22. We focus on efficiency. 
We don't spin our reels. We put as much into every stroke as possible. We're not out here, we're not out here being flashy. We're out here working to make a difference in our lives. No one else cares. You and me, we care. We're fighting back. Come on. Every stroke. Three minutes stands between us and whether or not we cross that finish line first or second. We're gonna take 10 strokes for silence. To focus on this one. See, there's a boat length now. You see a little unsteadiness in their, in their strokes. They know we're planning it. We're not gonna hold back anymore. 20 strokes for power to move on this one. Out of stern. Our boats are in line. We gotta walk through them in the last minute. Four, six more for power. You're on their strokes, Six. All right, we gotta do it. 30 seconds. Everything you've got. Stay with me on rate. Match together. Come on. You're on their bow seat. That means we're even. Push through. We nudge a, a ball ahead. They nudge back. We nudge ahead. They nudge back. We nudge ahead. They nudge back. And now we cross. No one's trapping. We're waiting for the results. It was a photo finish. But in the meantime, there's another race coming down the course. We gotta paddle away. So here we go. Clear your monitors, hit the menu back. We use this paddle away. to cool down. Anybody that was on shore watching, everybody's just holding their breath. It's gonna take a minute or two. So all we can do is look at how we performed. Did we give it our all? Were there moments where we could have pushed harder in the middle of the piece instead of waiting until the end? Could we have pushed harder on that first power 20? What about the focus 10? What about that third power 20? Instead of waiting till the final 30 seconds, could we have really put the hammer down and just gone for it? These are the questions you ask yourself when the race is over. But you know that there's nothing left. There's not another finish line. There's not another race. This is it. You gave it your all. 
Great, if you didn't, ask yourself why not. Learn. Rowing is deeply intrinsic. While you may be in a boat with other people, my performance was mine, mine alone. And my performance alone was intended to help the boat as a whole. So in part it's self-serving, but in another, it's completely the opposite. You kill yourself to push for others. Because if you win, the team wins. If you stop in the middle of the race, it's on you. The team can't move without you. And that's why you and I moving together is so important. And so you just smile. You just have to say, I did it. I got it done. And remember, this race is always here for you. This workout is always here for you. Come back to this. If you like this level of competition, maybe do this once a week and use some of our other intermediate workouts the rest of the time. If you feel like you can handle this kind of emotional work, come back to it three, four times a week. Learn about yourself. We're basically tearing ourselves down to the core. We're just learning as we go. And every workout is another opportunity to check in on yourself. How is my life going? Am I doing what I want to be doing right now? Am I making the gains that I want to see? Well, then you can answer that for yourself. Let's set that handle down. We're not done. Now we stretch it out. So let's take that right ankle, put it up on the left knee. Let's get into those glutes right now. Yes, I'm finished. And do not avoid this cool down. This cool down may be the most important part of the entire workout. You just worked your butt off. Here's where you really celebrate and get to enjoy it. When you work out that hard, you don't just walk away. You can't. It's impossible. You put so much emotion and energy into it. You can't just walk away from a workout like that. You need to mentally wind down with other people, with me, and that's what this is about. Wind down with me here. Breathe. Let your heart rate calm. Let your breathing rate calm. This is a training piece for you. Oh. Lean into this. Let's switch. Left ankle up on the right knee. Here we are. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you doing this. And I'm proud of you for sitting behind me and pushing with me. I need that move. You are my team. That's not a joke, you are my team. I would not be doing this if it weren't for you. Okay, take those hands, put them behind your head. Spread that chest open, arch that back. Embrace the opening of that chest. You do so much hinging when you're rowing. It feels so good to go the opposite direction and just let that back open up. Take those arms, pump them up into the sky. Uh, enjoy this, take your hands behind your back. Spread those shoulders apart again. Oh, feels so good to stretch. Oh, and hit that subscribe button now and the bell next to it if you haven't already. That bell is gonna make sure you get alerted when I come out with new workouts just like this so you can follow along. If you need more intermediate workouts, then check out this playlist right here. Come join me in the next one. Whew. Yeah, that was work. <laughs>